What is going on, peasants? My name is JB, and I am back here today with my team builder for BBR Week 5. This week, we are taking our boy mid Pokemon Master, who is the commissioner of the league and is currently rocking the record of 3 and 1 with a 0 differential. Uh, he has an absolutely just terrifying team. And if I'm being real with you guys, just before we even get into this, I want to be straight up up front with you. This is the worst matchup I think I've ever had in Gen 8. Like, this team is just impossible for my team to deal with if i'm being perfectly honest with myself just the combination of his offense and his fat it just bro it's ridiculous so uh he, obviously you can see guys excadrill necrozma scolipede gigalith vaporeon um hitmonchan uh miltank is the name of that pokemon whimsicott morpico and noctowl bro this team is ridiculous um excadrill in sand outspeeds my entire team and there's nothing i can do about it aside from running scarf or aura which has a shitty matchup against stuff like scolipede can get in and get a speed boost and just run through me uh has a shitty matchup against stuff like gigalith obviously being able to uh, just chew hits whimsicott has a bad matchup against that um it only really has a good matchup against vaporeon even then it's like it's just because it's a vaporeon not because you know scarf is good against vaporeon um necrozma is absolutely terrifying you guys know i have a habit of losing to setup psychic types and necrozma is arguably the best setup psychic um with prism armor uh weakness policy sets just being ridiculous and you know obviously having access to stuff like iron defense as well like bro it's just so hard to deal with skullpede is absolutely terrifying for my team there are absolutely no switch so i have to keep uh Gellings intact in order to deal with skullpede and that's going to be difficult when he has a pokemon like gigalith which sets in and does residual damage at the end of every turn so i can never really use it uh Talonflame as a switch into stuff like Whimsicott which I need to be because I have no other resist for Whimsicott's dual stabs on my roster except for Garbodor which has a shitty matchup against the first three Pokemon so you can see where we're kind of at with this matchup I've been pouring on just really hard to deal with thankfully we do have a uh uh Zero Aura and a not Pumpkin Boo um Gorgeist so we can kind of deal with that and much in is not a pokemon Meltank, very annoying good stealth rock setter good status absorber good cure him check so you could definitely see that coming um more pico fast hazard removal parting shots very annoying noctowl also not a pokemon so he has two pokemon on his team that just don't really exist but everything else just wins so th this matchup is so difficult so damn difficult uh, but I'm gonna do my best and we're gonna see what we can uh, make happen here. So first and foremost, we have ourselves a Crocodile uh, with Intimidate, Leftovers with Taunt, Earthquake, Dragon Tail, and Stealth Rock. We have 100 HP, 252 Defense, and 156 Speed with Agility Nature. We have Speed for plus Speed, um, Nature like Max Speed Necrozma, uh, Taunt, Dragon Tail uh, to prevent Necrozma from setting up. Like if we get set up, we can, we can click Dragon Tail. If uh, we're in just versus it, we can Taunt it so it can't do anything. So basically this is my uh, necrozma check and then we also have earthquake for you know just damage versus most things uh, i don't think knockout comes to this game and it's you know decent against like ones like like it'll do something uh then rocks are rocks pretty self-explanatory hopefully we can uh, just use this pokemon to not lose the necrozma next up we have ourselves our gorgeist uh we have speed for neutral nature necrozma we are uh gorgeist small so the fastest one uh vaporeon scald never breaks our sub and power whip to a kills bull vaporeon we have frisk with leftover sub leech seed uh poltergeist and power whip 36 hp 52 attack 252 defense with a uh with an impish nature 108 speed f and 100 speed so five evs um yeah dude five EV, five EV set yeah you gotta love to see that gonna get a little bit funky when the ev spreads you know we gotta have to but uh yeah it's good versus vaporeon spreading leech seed is very annoying obviously it is a decent check to um Excadrill, which forces him to run shadow claw which means he will probably either be like four attacks or I mean, he'll after he'll either he'll either have to go forego spin or um uh sd he can't really carry both and be able to hit gorgas well because iron head uh doesn't do that much unless he's like plus two life orb which let's be real he can pretty easily get versus me so we have to be a little bit careful there otherwise uh if we're outside of sand we actually uh can kind of bob drill but we don't outspeed it but it's whatever uh we'll be fine next up we have ourselves primarina with speed for uh just like Porion creeps we live one life orb poison jack from scolipede we have uh the wrong ability we have torn obviously with a uh sub scald moonblast and uh calm mind so nice little sub calm mind from arena hopefully we can put in a little bit of work um we have 140 hp 252 defense with a bold nature 52 uh special attack four speed f and 60 speed basically uh if he doesn't have roar and vaporeon we can kind of go in and just do a lot of damage i don't really think you bring uh roar and vaporeon versus my team because you kind of need scald obviously you need scald you need uh wish 
protect and then either roar or ice beam and i personally think ice beam is much much better versus my team just so otherwise you're not hard walled by gorgas which i guess if you have roar you can just roar it out but i mean that way you're you know still you know taking chip damage and stuff like that uh anyway next up we have ourselves uh espion with magic bounce light clay with uh light screen reflect baton pass and side shock uh speed for mill tank at 180 speed timid 84 speed up and the rest is just an hp um yeah speed for mill tank we're here for dual screens we have a ton pass for momentum and then side strike because it's our you know best move to hit everything except for more pico obviously um dude i just need bulk so i decided to run dual screens there's just no other real reason behind that other than my team is just gonna get okoed by everything so dual screens because why not basically uh, <laughs> Next up is Zero Aura. We have uh, Volt Absorb with Air Balloon, Plasma Fist, Close Combat, Blaze Kick, and Volt Switch. To uh, 76 HP, max attack with an Adamant Nature. Four both defenses and 172 speed. We have speed for Scolipede, and we can Revenge Axe Future with Air Balloon plus Close Combat. So give us something uh, resembling an out versus that thing. Uh, otherwise, you know, we're kind of just up to up, uh, Shit Creek without a paddle versus, you know, stuff like Axe Future. If this thing goes down or if we lose our Air Balloon, uh, Drill kind of just 6 0. So gotta be careful with that. Uh, and then last but not least is the Talon Flame. We have Gale Wings, Heavy Duty Boots with Brave Bird, Flame Charge, Defog, and Roost. 60 HP, 252 attack, 196 speed with Jolly Nature. We have speed for x Drill at Sand and plus one with Flame Charge. And Gale Wings helps keep, um, helps, uh, Skullipede if we are able to keep Gale Wings intact. So we have Roost. I don't see us being able to do that because, uh, Gigalith exists. And basically every time I go Talon Flame, he gets free, um, he gets a free Gigalith. Uh, and like every time he brings Limpus Guy in on something, I pretty much have to go Talonflame. Like, it's like, and then he just, it's, an, it, we get caught in the vortex very easily this game. And, uh, yeah, dude, I know I'm sounding like uh, a real piece of crap and not like being very confident in this matchup, but I'm just, I'm really not confident in this matchup at all. I don't see a way where this ends well. And I know that sounds, you know, bad or whatever. Like I'm just being brutally honest with you guys. This is a terrible matchup um there's i'm just gonna do my best to maybe like i don't i don't know man i i just i genuinely don't know and that's terrifying like bro his his team is just matches up so effing well against mine we're just gonna have to do what we can and you know zero is hyped up like he's you know appreciate you looking out homie but uh that's really gonna do it for me guys like i said i know i'm i'm sorry that this is you know the way it is but yeah, sometimes you just have matchups like this and that's really all i have to say about it so uh thank you guys for watching i'll see y'all for the battle tomorrow if you for some reason decide to watch it <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching peace out